So perpendicular bisector means I have to have something to bisect. So I'm just going to make a segment first. And what I want to do is I want to find the middle of this and I want a line going through there that's perpendicular. So to do that, we just need a couple circles. So this is actually really easy. We just need the, oh, there we go, the regular circle with center tool. So I just say, hey, give me a circle centered here with AB as the radius and give me the circle centered at B with AB as the radius. And what's gonna happen in that case is I end up with these two points up here that all are connected between each other uh, in pairs as radii of the same size circle. So intersect, so we have that intersection point there and this one right here, then AB is the radius of both circles BC is another radius, so that's going to be the same length as AB, and AC is the same length. So I formed an equilateral triangle, so that'd be another cool thing. I could construct an equilateral triangle pretty easy given any length. So I'm just going to throw that in here for fun. There's a polygon tool it's up here. So triangle ABC, go back to where you started to finish the polygon, is equilateral because of the way I constructed it down a little. And so is triangle ABD uh, or ADB, however you want to call it. And let's get go back to where I started to finish it. And so now if I draw the line through CD, that cuts these equilateral triangles in half, which cuts this line in half. And because the lines on each side here are congruent, uh, we end up with these, these perpendicular angles uh, over here. You can double check that, but we need a point there to check. So I'm technically done with my construction, but I just want to confirm that it's true. I'm not making this up. So to confirm that, uh, a couple things I want to know, is A to E the same as E to B? Oops, make that sometime. Now there is a perpendicular bisector quick constructor here, but I want you to do it on your own without using that one right there. So that's why I had to list those legal tools. And then I should find that the distance from E to B is the same. Check it out, same thing. Again, switch to the move tool, otherwise GeoGIP's gonna try to measure something. And is this really a right angle there? So I'm gonna grab that angle measurer here and say, what is angle B, E, C? And GeoGIP should report back, says, hey, that's a 90 degree angle. Cool, I did it. So I was given, uh, or I started with this arbitrary segment AB and then I, created this perpendicular bisector uh, just by making two congruent circles from A to B starting and then B to A. So perpendicular bisector. All right, next thing we want to do is what? Angle bisector. Well, that's a cute one. 